this is Lovely Lovebird Designs, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a basic bird. And I want to show you it's going to be a belly color and a wing color. And this one, if you don't want a belly color, you can just do regular color throughout. And I made different birds with the same design. This one's a blue bird, and this is an American robin. This one is actually a fun one. It's a pink camo and green camo. This is could be a finch or a sparrow with some mottled black within the brown. And this one could be a canary. It also added some glitter bands for the excess for the um, feet and the beak. So today I'll be showing you how to make the American robin, and you can pick whatever colors you want. I'm going to be using caramel or you can use dark red or red. And for the beak, I'm using rainbow loom gold, but you can use beige or black. And then a white eye ring, black on the uh, wings, and beige for the feet. So we can get started. It will be a single loom with a straight configuration. Get they're all double bands, and we're going to start with the beak first. So two bands here, two more on a diagonal, then the head color, I'm going to use black. Then the eye ring. If you don't want an eye ring, then you can just use black or whatever color you're using. But a lot of birds have eye rings. So I'm going to use white. And then you're going to put that on the diagonal. And then we'll work on the rest of the head. five stitches down. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going on a diagonal. Here's your capping band. You can do four times around or five. I'm going to do five. Okay, now we're going to work on the head area. Okay, now the chest area. I'm going to use the caramel color. Okay, we're going to go five stitches down. Now we're going to do, oh, that's really four stitches, sorry, five including this one, because that's going to be the chest. We're going to do black here.
Now we're going to put structural bands. Take a single black. Wrap it around these two pins twice. Okay, single black. Make a triangle. Single black. Well, now we're going into the colored part. So we're going to use the color of the belly. caramel color. Now we're going to take one more band and watch carefully. <clears throat> it's going to look exactly like this. Connect this big square but leave this one out. Now we're going to make a little um, extension on the top. And I'll do it on the loom too. I'm going to do three stitches. Three, and then captain band wrapped four times around. You can also do that on the hook too. right here, right at this band. Just place it right on top. Okay, now we can make the eye. I'm going to use black for the eye. You can also use a bead if you'd like. So I'm going to take one band, wrap it around six times. I'm going to get white for the eye color, for the eye ring. same uh, direction as the white over here. Okay, now we're going to make the legs. I'm going to choose uh, beige. You can also make them on the loom, but I'm going to do it on the hook this time. So, do this uh, four times around. Four. Single. Twisted. you're going to be four of them. So here's number two. Three and four. Okay, place that right here on this pin. another one, four times around, and four single twists.
seen on that thing. Okay, and this is your layout. Hopefully it looks exactly like this. And now we can start looping. So we'll start right down here. for this band, which is the uppermost. Now, I'll continue this row, and I'm going to use, find this band. Now we're looking for this band. And now your diagonal. Okay, now we'll work on this row. Now this is tight because there's the leg here, so be careful not to break any bands. Just want to make sure everything's perfect. Okay, now we're going to work in the middle. Okay, and now your last section. So now we're going to work and get this white band. No, no, get the black first because that's the uppermost. So black goes on top. Then get your white and bring it on a diagonal. Then your belly. Don't forget about this band on the side. Now we're looking for this black band, which is the uppermost band. Just like that. Now we're looking for this band. Now we're on the beak, and we'll look for this band. It's very tight in this section, so just be careful. And now this band. It's very tight, so be careful. It's going to loosen up. Now your beak color, get three bands, just three, and make a slip knot. Just like that. 
can take it off the loom. Stretch it out. Now this part, stretch it out. The eye ring, the eye should be right in the middle of the eye ring. And you can see there's a belly and then the tail. Okay, now this is the beak. You have three bands out. Take your hook, go right in the middle, behind the slip knot, put your hook right through the loose bands and pull them through, just like that. You can have a little point there, then you take your excess bands and wrap it around the beak. Just like that. So now it looks like a beak. Now if you have more excess bands, you can just wrap it around again. You can do that technique of putting it through like two times. Um, I just did it once here because it worked out, but if it's still too too small, you can wrap it around again and hide the bands around and just work with the bands and pull them through and you have a beautiful sparrow. And to make the claws, I take two bands, put the hook through your capping bands. And there's your claws. Okay, with this design, you can make many different birds. I really like this one, which is just plain brown with some black intermingled through with the gray for the eye ring and the chest. This is the pink camo the yellow bird, and the blue bird, which is cute too, because it's white and blue. And I also have a tutorial for a cardinal, which is a little different shape, a little bit bigger, and here's the band, you just wrap it right around. And it has a, a, a feather on the top. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs for some more great tutorials. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.